Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Tuesday, October 22nd. And what I've got for you is Wallet Wednesday, um, but it's a thrift haul, y'all. Um, it just so happens that I did some thrifting on um, a little bit on Sunday. And did I thrift yesterday? I can't remember, but it, yes, I did thrift a little bit yesterday and I thrifted today. So um, anyway, I happened to get a bunch of wallets and a wristlet or two, so um, I decided to film that instead of pulling out my bin of wallets. Um, with that, for those that don't know me, my name's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. So, um, I picked up these items between, um, let's see, my local Goodwill, St. Benny's, and I did go to the expensive Salvation Army today on my lunch hour, but I didn't, um, the only thing I bought there was two pairs of jeans um, for myself. They were $4 each. Um, I didn't find, I, well, I wasn't paying their prices for purses. They um, wanted anywhere from like $16.99 to $21.99 for bagolinis. I saw probably, they probably had four bagolinis and that was the price range. Um, and I couldn't understand the rhyme or reason on that. Um, and Tignanello's, they wanted, I think, $22 for. It is crazy. Their prices are just are crazy. Um, so <laughs> I didn't get anything there. But anyway, for the stuff that I'm going to show you, I think, I believe I paid, in fact, I know I paid um, just right around 40 bucks for all of it. Um, so let me know how you think I did. Um, and with that, I'm going to get on with it. So first item up is this green Rolfs and yes, it needs to be cleaned up. I have not, I haven't done anything with these pieces yet. Um, so I don't know how they're going to turn out. That's why I don't have prices and that's why I'm not throwing out prices. So, um, I will probably do these tomorrow. So when I should have been cleaning these wallets, I actually cleaned my um, army green briefcase. So anyway, back to this wallet. It is green. It is by Rolfs. It is leather. Um, no, it does not have an outside slip pocket. I don't know why I thought it did. Probably because I haven't cleaned it and I haven't gotten to know the piece. But anyway, there's your flap. Open up. You've got um, ID window, credit card slots, inside zipper pocket. Um, there is a bill slot here and you got a hidey ho back there and a hidey ho back there. And on the back, you've got a kiss lock, gold tone hardware. So, um, yeah, I love this piece. I love the color of it. Um, and it, Rolf's is, is very nice leather and it's not a cheap brand. So it retails for a lot. Anyway, I grabbed that. Then I got this one. And I just like how this one smells. Um, this is a Jack George's outside zipper pocket. And she left me some coins in there. Um, like a brown or a bronze stripe interior really nice um you've got jack georgia's embossed and you've got double id window and then you've got credit card slips on this side i believe you could probably fit a phone in here but i don't know if you can snap it center zip section um for coins so You got more credit card slips here and then another bill slot here. Let's see. There's a tag in here. Oh, no. I was thinking that there was a branding tag in here, but there isn't. Um, anyway, 
Jack George's, sorry, I scrolled out on you guys. Jack George's brown long wallet. Um, loved it, so I grabbed it. Okay, next piece up is a Spartina linen um, eyeglass case. And you got your Spartina branding in there and you can tell from the um, emblem here. So not, not really a wallet, but it's like a small piece. Um, then I got this Amity wallet. It is black leather, gold tone trim, kiss lock coin purse on the back. The only thing wrong with this piece, there's a little indentation right there, and I think it was from the way that this piece was stored. Other than that, it's perfect. I don't think anybody used it. Snap flap closure, branding right embossed right there. <laughs> now, this is old school. You do have the checkbook. It comes out if you want it to. Um, pictures, spots for pictures. And yeah. So, and, and your check thing, if you write checks still, there is a little loop here for a pen. Um, you do have an inside zipper pocket. runs and then you have a place for bills I was looking for more Heidi hoes but no just back there um yeah and you know I do believe that this is brand new without tags I think somebody had this sitting around um because it still has its branding tag in here but anyway, I, I don't know. I, you know what? I thought it was a nice looking piece. So I grabbed it. Why not? Okay. What else did I get? Ooh, this one I really like. It's orange and it's embroidered and it's got some kind of bug on it. I don't know if that's a bee or what. Um, it's got like a little orange tassel and then gold tone hardware and it's got a little gold heart charm. I thought this was a really, really cute little piece. It is faux leather, but not everything has to be leather. It has an outside zipper coin pocket. Um, and then open it up. You got credit card slips, credit card slips, ID window, um, Heidi hose. There's a few of them, actually. There's like two on each side, so that's pretty cool. And then you have a bill slot up here. So again, you know what? Not everything has to be branded and not everything has to be leather. I thought this was a really cute piece for fall. Um, if you're one of those ladies that just grabs and goes, this is cute to have in your hands. So there's that. Um, I did get a couple of Buxton pieces. This one is, what do they call it? Velvet Touch Cowhide. And this, it, this piece is so soft and so luxurious. I mean, really, it, it really, it feels like a very high quality piece. So I grabbed this by touch, you know? This, like when I reached in and I'm looking, I was like, ooh, that one feels good. So it's got an outside slip pocket and it's a small piece. It would just fit right in your back pocket if you're one of those ladies that doesn't want to fool with a purse. Or even if you do fool with a purse, but you just feel like grabbing your wallet real quick because you got to run out and grab something. Um, ID window, credit card slots, Buxton branding down here, credit card slots. And then you've got a Heidi Ho in there and a Heidi Ho in there. So... Just super cute, very luxurious and soft piece. So anyway, there's that Buxton piece. The other Buxton is this Paisley print and it is basically the same style wallet. It has the outside zipper pocket, or not zipper, the outside slip pocket. And then you've got 
um, credit card slips, ID window, Heidi Ho, and more credit card slips, branding. Um, so yeah, I thought it was nice. I grabbed it. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, so I have this. It's Victoria's Secret. Um, there is a wristlet strap attached. I really don't know if it belongs on here or not. Um, cause looking at it, it looks like this is silver tone hardware and this is gold. So I don't know. Um, I'll have to look at it in different light. So this is a makeup bag and there is a couple flaws. There is a little bit of corner rub there and corner rub there, but inside looks like brand new. You got your branding over here. You have a slip pocket. Um, it does not really appear to have been used or, you know, if it was not that much. So anyway, um, you know, it's pink, so I had to get it. And I got this new with tags, Nine West Faux Patent Leather Wristlet, Silver Tone Hardware, tags. It is getting to be the C word season, so I wanted to have some new with tags. Um, original stuffing is still in there. So yeah, I loved this color blue. Kind of like the little Buxton piece, you know. I, I'm shy, I, I'm drawn in by um, bright colors and things like that. All right, so this piece, I probably in normal circumstances wouldn't have grabbed it. Um, but I could tell when I touched it that it was leather and yeah, it <laughs> pink interior. So anyway, and there is a tag in there that does confirm that it is real leather. Um, and then I saw it was by Isaac Mizrahi, so I got a little excited and I threw it in my cart and I paid for it. And then when I was, so this is my second time recording the video because I messed up the first one. Um, but that's when I noticed that it says Isaac Mizrahi for Target. So I don't know if this is resellable or not, but um, it is real leather. It's black, silver tone trim. I think it's a nice piece, especially with the upcoming holidays. It does have the things where you can hang a chain off of it. It does not come with the chain. There is light scratching and some denting. I think that was due to how it was stored. I'm going to um, stuff this up and I think it's supposed to be, I, wonder, I don't know if it's gonna be nice this weekend or not, if I can set it in the sun um, for a little bit to kind of reshape it and you know anyway but it's a cute piece so um hopefully somebody wants it and you know what throw that over there then i grabbed this one because and it's faux leather um but i loved the pattern not gonna lie um adjustable shoulder or cross body removable um strap so if you wanted to carry this just as a clutch you could and i'll tell you this bag's pretty cool so right here you have this like little turn lock and then you have an outside zipper pocket and this bag's by reed if i didn't mention that and you have branding on your zipper pull. Um, back zip, or not zip, back slip pocket, front zip pocket with your little turn lock, um, top zip closure, and then inside is your branding. Um, it says read modern American luxury. Uh, zipper pocket again with this great hardware so and then on the other side there's a slip pocket 
really, really nice, unique bag. And that's kind of what I look for when I'm out bag shopping. You know, what, what catches my eye, you know? Um, and when I felt this bag, I knew it wasn't leather, but I knew it was um, a quality piece. And you know, I started looking at the hardware and, you know, so anyway, I thought I would try it. I, I've never heard of this brand before, um, but I give it a shot. And the last bag I found is kind of a banger, y'all. I found another Brahmin in the wild. Isn't that crazy? Um, this one is a black crossbody, crack embossed, um, gold tone hardware. It does show some hardware wear. Um, not gonna lie, it does. It does show hardware wear there, um, and I don't know how to fix that up. So um, I mean, I can shine it up definitely, but I don't know how to actually like take the hardware off and and like I don't know if you can repaint it. But anyway, don't know how to do any of that, so I'm not doing any of that. But this bag has an outside slip pocket. It's got a little turn lock, leather flap, and then it's magnetic. So you open this up. In here, you have an ID window. You've got a slip pocket. And on this side, you have another slip pocket and a bunch of credit card slips. Then you've got a zipper compartment there with Brahmin branded lining. And then you've got your other zipper compartment here. So really nice bag, um, lots of storage options. And I, st I can't believe that I scored another Brahmin. All right, I'm gonna have to work on that zipper a little bit, which is not that big of a deal. Um, little wax paper, run it along the teeth. And usually that, get some going really, really nice. So there is a little light edge wear on here. Um, I'm gonna try to condition that up and see if um, it'll bring the color back. If not, I'll hit it with my leather dye. I um, have black leather dye and it ends up fixing up these edges really, really nice. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think of my thrift haul. Um, I can't believe 17 minutes for just a few pieces. Um, I, I do promise you guys, you will, get, you will get a true wallet Wednesday. I promise you. Um, but with that, it brings me to story time. And you know what? Actually, I, got, I do have some stuff, y'all. Um, I went to my brother's for breakfast on Sunday and took him... He bought a riding lawnmower a few miles away from where he lived, and he decided he was going to ride it home. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Excuse me. It was hilarious, you guys. Absolutely hilarious. I, I followed him, you know, and, like, we drove, kind of, we drove on the shoulder, and I followed him. It was hilarious. Um, so after that, I went thrifting for a little bit, and then I had a, a benefit to go to a... Uh, um, um, a, it's a young girl. Well, I think she's probably late thirties, early forties. Um, she was my ex-husband's cousin's friend. Um, but she has, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and I don't remember what stage, but her work did a fundraiser for her. And, um, so it was important for me to go and show up and, and support. So I did that. Um, and that was probably the end of my day Sunday. Pretty sure. Can't remember. Um, let's see. Monday, what'd I do? Oh, I had the X over for dinner yesterday. Um, oh, <laughs> dry my at the office, y'all. <laughs> I lost my office. Um, and then <laughs> I had to boot somebody who had commandeered an office um, in order to have a space to work. And it was kind of crappy that, that, um, the building manager made me be the one to tell this, um, this associate they had to move, but, um, they technically weren't supposed to be set up there anyway. They had an assigned seat elsewhere in the building. They just chose not to sit in it. So, 
Um, I didn't sleep all night last night because I was nervous. And, um, you know, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I, so my office space is not dedicated to me. I um, use a reservation system to book office space three days a week. Um, I had my space booked out till mid-December and apparently whoever gave it away didn't, didn't bother to look at the reservation system. But anyway, that's over and done with. So when I found out that my office was given away, um, I reached out to to the building manager and I'm like, you know, what do I do? I have to have a place to work. And they said, well, there's two, two hotel spaces is what they call them in that building. You need to reserve the other one. Well, I knew that somebody was in there, um, that someone had kind of commandeered it and yeah, they wouldn't help me. So I had to talk to the girl and let her know, I'm really sorry. This is where I have to go. I don't have an assigned seat. So, um, my boss is looking for an assigned seat for me because I, I don't ever want to have to go through that again. I mean, you know, like apparently this person that took my office showed up last week to work and like luckily, I don't know how lucky we are, but both Zach and I had stuff going on with our cars last week. So I worked from home the whole week, but like if I had been at the office and she had walked in and tried to kick me out. I would have been, you know, like really pissed. So, um, yeah, sticky, sticky situation. Um, so my boss is looking for a seat for me. But anyway, I'm trying to think, what else do I have? I don't know. Um, oh, I do think I might have got to the root of my hair issues. Um, my... So I only have half a thyroid. 10 years ago, I had half my thyroid removed because um, there was nodules and stuff. And I don't know, they might've said something about precancerous. I don't remember, it was 10 years ago. But so anyway, they left me with half a thyroid and it's been working. Well, um, you guys know I've been struggling with my hair. So I was about to spend some big money on hair vitamins. And um, so I asked my niece if she could research them for me and, you know, see if it would, if it's worth it, you know, before I spent the money. So she researched these vitamins and, and they are, you know, they're dermatologist recommended. They, you know, they've had actual studies done on them um, and they do seem to work. So anyway, she gets back with me and she says, you know, yeah, I think these could work for you. She said, it's got everything you need in it, but she said, you know, before you spend the money on it, I want you to get your thyroid checked. She's like, you you know, she reminded me that I had had thyroid problems in the past. And so um, anyway, I went and got my thyroid checked. Anything over 4.2 is considered high. I'm at five. Um, my doctor wanted me to wait. Well, first they said six weeks, then they called me back and said four weeks. Um and then retest. I don't do that. Um, I only have ha half a thyroid as it is. Um, I'm about to be bald headed. So I called and made an appointment with an endocrinologist. I'm going to the endocrinologist on Halloween. So hopefully, hopefully she can give me some medicine or do something um, and get my thyroid firing right. And um, maybe my hair will stop falling out because I'm feeling pretty thin right now, y'all. I mean, it's looking, it's actually not looking half bad. It's not looking as dry as what it normally does. So anyway, but hopefully I got to the root of the problem. But I'm at 24 minutes and what I've got coming up for you, Friday we are going to open up a friend mail from um, Barb from Arizona. She sent me a box and um, I can't wait to get into that box, y'all. Um, and I've got a fun box coming up. Got, I've got a couple of America's Thrift Supply purse boxes. So I definitely have content for you all. Um, and we'll have a Saturday bag sale, Saturday evening bag sale. So with that, I am out. Peace.